Actually, I'm going to do my ghetto views, volume 62. This is where I talk about things that's in the news, on the blog. People have sent me links or whatever. So, everything is just my opinion, but let's go with it. Um, first, I want to talk about the Malaysian plane that was shot down by the UK, by Russia, by somebody that wasn't right in the head. But, um, yeah, my thoughts and prayers and condolences go to... Um, those families affected oh it was just sad when they said like 80 kids died and they were showing pictures and all this kind of stuff i just was like oh my god like you just like man that wasn't no fucking army plane or you wasn't in war or some shit like that so why do that like i don't get it um can you close the door please so, I just was like, um, that's crazy. So, yeah, my thoughts and prayers go out to them families because it's sad. Like, we can't even go visit people or go back home without getting shot down by, like, some ignorant-ass people. So, yeah, my thoughts and prayers go out to them. Um, what else didn't happen? Like, what's her name? You know, the girl... I can't remember her name at this moment. I'm trying to find it. But the girl yesterday, well, it came out, I think, yesterday. Uh, the girl that got freed, um, well, the charges were dropped. The girl that left her kids in the car when she went on that job interview, I just was like, oh, my God. But, yeah, um, the charges were dropped against her, and she got to have, like, $10,000 in her kids' account for um education why she got to go to drug classes um and there was some other things she had to do but yeah um her charges were dropped yesterday if y'all know who i'm talking about i can't remember her name and i was trying to find it but i can't find it so um what else happened before i get into that stupid ass fuckery people are asking me to talk about Cause I get to the point where when it comes to these reality shows, the fuck shit that they do is just pointless. It's really, really, really pointless. Um, let's get it out the fucking way. Let me let me hurry up and get this out the way. Shout shout out to um John Taylor at vh1access.com. Go check out his blogs. But um, the Stevie J and Jocelyn and Menzino and Althea and everybody fighting over at Love and Hip Hop. I think it's stupid as fuck. First of all, they was going Twitter beef after the Monday Night episode. They had this little Twitter beef with between Stevie J and Benzino. And Stevie J leaked a picture of Althea giving um, Benzino head or whatever the picture was. Then, it was another picture of her naked had posted, too. But, um, people were, like, bashing Stevie. But I'm like, how the fuck did he get the picture? Don't come at me. Oh, my phone was hacked. No, his homeboy sent him probably a picture of his girl giving him head. What bitch is still taking pictures after all the meme shit? What bitch, what, what bitch is taking pictures? of that kind of position like that's grown that's over 40 i don't understand um i just don't get it especially just as your dude he taking pictures he's sending it to his homeboy a homeboy that you know fucked your girl i i just maybe it's just me maybe it's just me looking too much into it i don't know but i thought it was just like how you hey, everybody getting mad the person that should be uh mad is Benzino, you should be mad at yourself because you about damn near 50 and you still doing childish bitch ass shit. First of all, why are you doing Twitter beef with another grown ass man trying to put him on blast because he put your girl on blast? Like y'all, all y'all with thoughts, so what's the problem? I don't get it. It ain't like y'all with no respectable women. What's the problem? The shit that happened with Jocelyn at that con at that Dallas uh I think it was a Dallas nightclub where she got booed. She I 
they know what the people was expecting. Y'all seen their videos on YouTube. What the fuck was y'all expecting? Or was y'all mad because she was calling out celebrities? I don't know. I don't get it. I just didn't understand what people were expecting. The video where she was high than a motherfucker or drunk than a motherfucker. I don't know which one it was, but it was something. It was probably it was a mixture of things. I don't know. I just felt like whoever in her camp is fucked up. I heard it was one of the Zeno homeboys that did that, but bitch, you was around them. Um, basketball wife star Mika Claxton and her husband filing for divorce after I think eight years. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Like, nowadays with celebrities and being married, I just don't get surprised when they finally get divorced. I don't. Especially people that put their business out there on reality TV. I don't... I don't get it. Ooh, okay. Um, Alexandra Skip is going to ship, I think her name is. She's going to be playing the role of Aaliyah um, for the Aaliyah biopic movie. I was very, like, okay with this one. Like, the picture that they showed us of her, she looked like Aaliyah. More than that other girl. This is Zendaya girl. I don't know. I just had a bad feeling if Zendaya would have played this movie. Now I heard Wendy Williams say that she is going to be the. um They're going to do it with the Wendy Williams production. And I'm all here for that. You know why? Because Wendy Williams messy as fuck. So therefore we're going to get all the shit that we wanted to know. And I don't think it's going to be too much sugar coated. So I'm with that. Um, Deborah Cox singing the backup. All Whitney Houston songs. I think that's stupid as fuck. Even if she did, I don't think we should have knew about it. Like, no, no, I don't. I don't, I don't think we should have knew about that. Apollo going on that radio station talking about um him and Phaedra not gonna make it, and she didn't show up him for him for his sentence. Then he feels salty. I feel everything he was saying, but I told y'all Phaedra didn't care about him. Phaedra care about herself. Tanisha from Bad Girls Club is going to be on the Orange and New Black. I believe it when I see it because y'all told me Tony Braxton was going to be on this season and she wasn't. So, I believe that shit when I see it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, what else? I'm Floyd Mayweather and T.I. He is a bitch. Floyd Mayweather is a stone cold bitch. And I'm saying this is going to go really, really, really bad. Because first of all, you don't disrespect no man like that and not think he's not going to come after you or have somebody come after you if he's smart. I'm just saying. But, yeah, him getting on that damn uh, press conference talking about, yeah, I fucked your bitch and all this. After you just said you wouldn't fuck her, she's a married woman and all that kind of stuff. Now you see that she people saying she shaded you at the BET red carpet and now they back together. Now you feeling some kind of way all up in your bitch ass feelings. I sit down little boy. Sit the fuck down. Um yeah. I uh, that irritated my spirit because I was just like, you too wrong for this. You making too much money for this and now you about to jeopardize this on some goddamn beef with a rapper because now if they had a fight i could say floyd might win but this is gonna turn into some street shit that i don't think floyd gonna be prepared for you're gonna have to have goons around you at all fucking times with your reckless ass mouth that's all i'm saying um what else i want to talk about in the news i didn't care about all this drama i'm going through my own shit so i really didn't care about a lot of the drama with people was asking me in my opinion so Hey, let's talk about some shows that I watched that I just been getting caught up on. Little Women in L.A. I love that show. <laughs> I hate it getting ready to go up. I love that show. I like Christy. I don't have a problem with Christy. Only problem I have with her is she trying to rush her dude into that marriage that I don't think he's really, really ready for. But Tracy, Tara, and the other one, I don't, them three T's, I don't like them. I don't like them. I like the girl that um that's trying to have a baby with her husband. I like her because she give you more information about what they go through as little people. And she love her husband and they got a solid ass marriage. The rest of them hoes, mm-mm. 
But I like Christy, and I think that Tracy is kind of jealous of Christy. That's what it is. She don't want this girl to steal her shine at her wedding. But, yeah, I love that show. That's my show. It's, what's it called? Escape? What is it? Is that what it's called? Yeah. On E-Channel. I love that show, too. I was so happy when they kicked off Ty and, um, what's her name? Pietra. I was so happy when they kicked them off because I'm like, you motherfuckers did. Y'all got mad at somebody doing to y'all what y'all did to a, a couple the week prior. Y'all got off uh, Matthew because y'all want to break up him and Megan. And now somebody want to break y'all up. Y'all tied one to fight. Now, I was really mad at, what's his name, Jesse, when his ass was about to jump over that thing because he was scared of Ty. Megan ass running around the table because she's scared of Pietro. I would have threw a fucking glass at that bitch and made her slow down. Like, uh-uh. Then you see how stupid she was over this dude that she thought he was going to leave. He ended up turning around saying, I can't leave. I'm going to stay here. And then, as soon as his ex-girl came, he was all up into her. I know she felt stupid watching that shit back. Um... But yeah, I like that. Big Brother 16, I am so into that. Y'all watch um Wesley from A Connection T um, TV. Y'all watch his reviews. Be so, so fucking good. But I don't review that because, I don't know. I don't know why I don't review it. But I love this show. I'm so fucking happy that they got Devin ass up off that goddamn house. It was ridiculous. Every week, I wanted him to fucking go home. Now... Caleb can go home because he's a strong competitor. That's the only reason why I'm saying he can go home. The way they're trying to do Donnie, I'm pissed off about. Because I be like, he doesn't do anything. And my thing is, it's not time to, if y'all are going to get him out, it's not time to get him out. He's already going to be the fan favorite. So he's going to win, what, $10,000 from even being the fan favorite. But y'all can use Donnie. Like, I'm serious. Like, that ain't the one should be getting out the house. Maybe y'all girls should band together and start getting these dudes out the house. Now, I love me some Frankie. He bring entertainment. But he messy. So, Frankie can go. Um, what's his other name? Zach. Zach can go too. Zach messy as fuck too. So, yeah. Um, what other show that I get caught up on? Marriage Boot Camp. I don't like Tanisha. She just made me not like her. She's so fucking extra. The way she do Clive, I just be like, Ugh. Then that fake ass heart attack she had last night. I was like, bitch, stop, girl. You started that shit. You hitting all on him. You make, girl, girl, shut that shit up. You lucky he didn't hit you back because I think if y'all was at home, he would have punched your big ass back. I'm just saying. Um... LA hair was good. I'm waiting on next week for Leah and Lisa to fight. That's all I'm waiting on. Um, all that other bullshit that they be doing is very immature, childish. I was so glad that she fired um, Malika. Is that her name? Whatever fuck that China sister name. I was glad she fired her. But now China, you next in line. Because your stupid ass is immature. I like Angela and Lisa's relationship. Because they don't really be into the drama like and i like lisa for that because she i didn't like her at first the way she came in but lisa kind of started to grow on me because she like i'm a barber i ain't got time for this petty bullshit i'm about making my money so i'm with her now um what other show i haven't got caught all the way up on him not grow but when i do I'm going to do a whole full review because some of my subscribers want me to review him my grove on um, Netflix. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. It's a real good show. Um, what else? Tracy Braxton got a new song out. I like it. I like it. It's, it's worth listening to. It's not something that I will play on a consistent basis, but it's something that I will listen to. I like the words of the song. That's that's what gets me with a song. Sometimes it could be the beat, but I like the words to this song. And it's an R&B song, so it's cool. So y'all go check out Chase Baxter's new song. Whether you want to download it or buy it, I ain't going to force you. I'm just saying. <coughs> Marsha and Burgess got a new album. Go get it. Good, great, all that. And then some. I'm loving it. I'm listening to it still. But so far, what I've heard, I really like it. I like, um, so good. Um... I like La 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 La. I think that's the name of it. I, I like this album. Um, I don't.